the end of the mega campaign 2022. We've conquered Iberia, we've conquered Indonesia, we've conquered the Urals, but now it is time to conquer the world. Welcome to the finale of this beautiful mega campaign. As you can already see, the mod, the, mod, the converter, the, the convert, the EU uh, Vic 2 to Hoi 4. Hoi 4, that's the game you're playing. The Vic 2 to Hoi 4 converter is insane. I mean, just look at those portraits. In the interbellum period, there were smaller skirmishes where the great powers cleaned up Africa and the Russian Empire was crumbling, so the other great powers took advantage of it, gobbled up some land here and there. Among other things, the occupation of the Greek states. It was just a temporary occupation anyway, as war reparations. The Byzantines took a little bit of Russia, Sweden took a little bit of Russia, Malaya reconquered Siberia with a very cool guy, I mean just look at him with his shades. And this flag is also insane. <laughs> Jan Mayen. One thing that's also cool, it converted my Russian Empire flag. Yemen is the big independent power in Africa. The Russian African colonies were reverted. South Africa is a puppet. This is pretty much just um, administration, similar to the British Raj. A big thing I have also done, which I can show you once I load in, I have given most nations cause on other nations. So you can see all of the Yemenese land is also a core of Iraq. Yemen has a bunch of claims here in South Africa and Central Africa. Iraq has claims on Yemen. The Indian nations all have claims on each other. We are playing the beautiful nation of Czechoslovakia. We have reconquered a land. Czechoslovakian. We have reconquered Czechoslovakian. My country is the... Austria, Hungary. For example, here I split up the North German Confederation. So we have three big German nations and a little bit of... Since the main protector of North Germany was Russia and without Russia they would have fallen. Malay, Siberia, I did not want to delete because oh my god, just look at the, look at the Drip King. Actually, I could probably play them, but I mean, it's Siberia, just look at the manpower. <laughs> Wouldn't be fun to watch. And then we have Gandhi. Uh, I'm sorry, Pavu Singh. And seriously, the Indian portraits are so insane. Just look at this. Look at this dude. What he's wearing. And then this dude. And then this guy is just like, eh. And we also have the baby man. And everyone's favorite King Taro with his fortunes. <laughs> and Trong Tuan is... Oh! Oh! Same for Andalusia and Angola. I've integrated most of the administrative regions. But I mean, just look at him. You just know he's gonna look at the cookie jar and... I don't mind if I do. And I don't fault him for that. <laughs> okay. I might just play Muska. <laughs> what the... F what is this? And then the mayor... That, you don't look like someone... No. Okay, fine. And then the... Chiu, Mexicans, Blackfoot, Iroquois, Cherokees are all very nice, very nice, very nice. For the great powers, we have Blackfoot, the Byzantines, Cherokee, Mexico, France, Iroquois, Malaya, and the Russians. So nothing too surprising. As for the factions, we have the Baltic Alliance, which is just Russia and Mexico. And then we also have the Argos Alliance, which is the Byzantines and Malaya. Focus trees are interesting. We do have five special paths. One of them is the North German uh, Confederation, Federation, which, as I said, I've already eradicated. So some of these paths won't do anything. Like some, some paths are just straight up dead, which I don't really mind. It's just nice to keep in mind. And the Russians and the Byzantines are, as far as I know, the only ones with a special tree. So they have a glory to the empire and then they can either go for the colonies or home. And I will say, Russia is fucking terrifying. 5% recruitable pops. That is extensive conscription for free. And I think for now, we will just straight up focus on guns. We can't afford anything else. 
We don't have the game of action. The game of factions are now absolutists. We are going to go for political effort first. And then we're gonna see if we can conquer Austria. Don't really like generals, but oh my god, this, this supply guy, I'm gonna make him the army field commander general. <laughs> can you... Come on, what is this? I don't care, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Be normal, please. The autarkic chancellor. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh my god. This, nobody is guaranteeing me. I guess spheres of influence, huh? I would need to go to war with Bavaria, which... Uh, Hungary, which would only drag in Bavaria. Mexico is getting attacked and I think they are gonna lose. Yeah, the Mayans are pushing them back. The Iroquois are pushing them a little bit back, I think. One thing I could do is get the Communist Revolutionary and ban Communism. I don't think... I'm not sure if that's... Wait, the close air support doesn't have any... Doesn't give me any air experience. That's stupid. Oh god, this... Yep. Mexico is gone, but they're never gonna... This war is never gonna end. Russia is not gonna give up because Mexico was their greatest ally. Oh god. It's too soon, boys! France declared on Flanders. Flanders was guaranteed. Now France is at war with the Russians. And Blackfoot declared war on... This game is gonna be over very quickly because France is already losing in Flanders. Alone. <laughs> World War II has already started. The Byzantines have declared on Mexico. Mexico is allied to the Russians. Oh, they still have a truce. I guess that's one way to prolong the war. Ah, cool. Our Democratic Party is the CSND. The Absolutist Party is the CSND. And the CSND stands for Česka? Česka? Strana Narodne Socialny. And CSND stands for CSND, obviously. Let's not dally any longer and let's go. Just hold. We don't have the industry or the manpower yet to really do anything here, so I'm just gonna make some light pushes. Okay, this front is holding. Okay, wait a minute. You go here, you go here, you go here, actually. Very nice. And boom, perfect. A nice little encirclement of five divisions. That's very good. So now we've won the war. I just, I'm just gonna let it run on auto. Think of war economy. War industrialist. Yeah. Improved work or conditions? Which we can't. Okay. Because we have 90. 90 people. That I can accept. We have two small people. I'm just gonna cause a little bit of chaos with these guys. Because the AI cannot handle fronts like this. Come on, can we cut them off? There we go, we got a pocket. A beautiful pocket. Novi sad. Let's make Novi happy. Wait, Budapest is undefended. Oh god, I love the AI. Perfect, okay. We can now take everything from the Hungarians. First step to uniting Austria-Hungary. Now immediately railroad there. <laughs> okay. This guy must know what he's doing. Give these guys a staff office plan. And then, once they are ready, we can attack. Malaya declared war. And I think that's it for the Russians. For the Argos Alliance. The Baltic Alliance, I mean. And, yep. We'll, we are running into a small little problem. Nobody has resources. And that's it for the expansions. Shu declared war on Shu. Oh my god, that's... Ooh, you are a nice looking dude. Guess I can go... Maybe with West Preussen. 
Copium, copium, copium. Okay, perfect. Okay, I will take a little bit of land for helping in this invasion, obviously. Mea gets all of this. The Iroquois get all of this. And then Blackfoot gets Canada and Alaska. Malay Siberia gets a bunch of land. France gets all of Flanders. The Byzantines get Nigeria. Boom. Okay. We have technically finished the campaign <laughs> because we have defeated the Russians. Don't think we've done anything for it, but technically we have done everything we wanted to accomplish. I would never cheat in such a serious thing as a mega campaign. Austria joined the Argos Alliance. Okay. There we go. <gasps> Just look at this. This is Victoria 2 all over again. I even have best poison. Yeah, let's fall back, fall back, fall back. Straight up, I will make a defensive line like this. And then I will sign a deal with the Italians to give them Tyrol. Ugh, this is so horrendous. We might be able to take out Austria. You attack here. We will become the faction leader. And again, I don't think this one is gonna hold. And we could invite Iraq, which would mean Yemen will become our enemy. So I will invite Yemen, since Yemen seems to be doing quite well. Pagan. Okay. I mean, most of us are absolutists. No, all of us. Funny how this works out. I can improve relations which should help as well and then i can get an agency tyrol for military support and trust me we do need the military support there we go drive them out drive them out i don't have convoys boys i appreciate the gesture but i do not have convoys i don't even know what a convoy i do know what a convoy is i do have it in my line but i don't know how it works I don't have it. No! They've broken through. They have broken through. I repeat. Got a few more troops in here. Infantry expert perfect. Um, infantry expert perfect. Diplo pressure. Yes! Italy joins us in our cause. I will attempt to use it for Isfahan as well. Let's see. Can we make a sweet little encirclement now? Now we can also invite Isfahan. Wow! Spies are actually useful for once. Okay, we can go more, we can go more. Take more, take more. Perfect. We don't have troops here on this border, that's not good. But we're holding, thanks to the Italians. What do I need? Trucks and trains. Oh, do I do have a lot of trucks in my stockpile. I don't know how. Maybe we can take this one. Perfect. Okay. Come on. Breakthrough, boys. Perfect. Now, just attack. Attack. Do not relent. We have inflicted. Whew, considering we only lost 83k, that is quite an amount of troops. Swabia will join France against the British, which will call Swabia in against me. At least I have the Italians on my side. Okay, they are at the gates of Prague and we're close to capitulating. God, there's so many mages on this side. Oh God, they just started pushing. That's not good. Oh cool, I got an encirclement. Yes. Can we take out Swabia? It would be so nice. There's so many troops here now and the Italian front against France has collapsed. We need Andalusia now. I guess I will join you. I don't know what's different here. I don't know where to start. Wait, uh, that was what I was attacking here into. That was the entire point of this offensive. There we go. You can go for Kirkail, Kirklare, Kirklareli. Okay, um, offense. Nope, that's not the offensive I wanted. I wanted to start this offensive. And then we can also start this offensive. At this point, I can't really be bothered. Be asked to micro this, especially because this is gonna be 
a long wall. We can cut these off. Oh, perfect. Okay, nice. Got a small little pocket here. No, they are pushing Andalusia back. There we go, let's get a non-aggression pact. That's not gonna change anything, but hey. It's the fort that counts. Rashputana, is that good for us? I don't know. No, that was an ally. Still haven't done any of your war plans. Would be nice if you could. And then, apart from the Incans and Uzbek, yeah, Inca Maya, everyone is involved. Except for a few, you know, these three minor nations. Which I think is cool. Like, that is a world war. No neutrality. Everyone has ambitions in this skirmish. Um, I think they are pushing here. I feel like I used to own this part and they have taken Prague. Oh my god. This is just trench warfare. <laughs> oh, look at that. Empty provinces. Even better, empty victory provinces. Do I have planes from somebody? Let's go. Air superiority. <laughs> and the Valkyries. <laughs> Flight of the Valky Valkyries is starting. Perfect timing, if I do say so myself. There we go, we have taken the capital without any resistance. Oh my god, they are gonna get Andalusia. Don't you dare kill this man. He has a family, I think. And it looks like the Byzantines are gone. It might take a while because they do have a lot of land, but we have won against them. That is what counts, an abacus. I also like that they are the Byzantine Empire, but every other pop-up will just call them the Greek Federation. Can you all attack this? Oh, yes. I don't know why I have Wallachia, but not Siebenbürgen, even though Austria and Hungary have it. Another encirclement. Yes, yes, yes. We've got it. Uh, I should have taken a look at Anatolia. I can fix this, I can fix this, I can fix this. Copium, 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 copium. Fuck off! Why are you so slow? Oh my god! They really just walked around my- that's my thing, they walked around me. That's not fair. Okay, but one thing I can do is send you guys to the Caucasus. God, why are you so fast? Seriously. How are they so much faster than my divisions? Ah! <laughs> Come on. I don't know who's encircled right now and who's not. This is a very weird... <laughs> very weird war. Or battle. Possible, try and break out. Yeah, and the loser didn't really help us. Neither did the British. They're just sitting on their asses. Okay, number one. Screw this. Number two. Go here. Can you retreat, please? Ordered retreat would be such a nice addition in this game. An ordered retreat command or something similar. What happened here? What? I guess they broke free here, through this tile or something. The French in this tile are technically encircled, but the game doesn't register it because these are just impassable terrain, but can still get supplies through there for whatever reason. Oh look, I got an encirclement without even trying. Oh my god! 
you know, the best thing I can do is encirclements. Those are a lot of troops to encircle. Did you actually encircle them? <laughs> this one... Seriously, you are being promoted. One troop encircles two troops. Do you have a name? Safarik, you shall be memorialized. Italians want to give me stuff. And you don't even have your weird Mussolini side quests, you're just doing it out of your goodwill. It doesn't change anything! Swabia has capitulated. Yes! Oh no, that's gonna mess up my front line so hard. Let's see, maybe we can take advantage of... Ten Dip, dip, dip. Straight up, this might be one of the worst things to happen. Because I feel like the AI, my frontline AI will just glitch out now, send troops everywhere and I won't be able to deal with anything anymore. We're getting dangerously close to capitulating, which I do not like. Even though we are doing such a good job pushing them in. So, you just wanted to encircle me, huh? Well, now you are encircled. You fool! And boom! If possible, we can also pocket these guys here. That should bring back a decent chunk of the army. Go oh, smaller pockets, smaller pockets, smaller pockets. We'll need them wherever we can get them. No! Stop it! Okay, f fine. Have it your way. Subway. Just freeze up more divisions. We don't have troops here. You know, it's, it's things like that where I'm just like, why? Why is the AI the way it is? Preferably we can take Prague, but right now I just want to restabilize this front. Perfect. We've got a link here, which means I can send a few troops into Africa. Pin the troops in Prague, please. Perfect. Unencircled myself. No! <laughs> I'm just losing ground. You chill here, you chill here. Fuck's sake, man. It's just a lot. Also, I don't really like what you're doing here. Splitting up the front. I have troops on the front lines again. It might not be as much as I want, especially let's just look at this here, there's nobody here. I could also go for a nice little encirclement here. Oh, I hate this! Perfect! Not encirclement! Seriously, <laughs> this is all I'm doing this game. <sighs> I feel like... These fronts aren't gonna move anytime soon because it's just a constant taking and retaking of land. Yeah, that's a bit cringe what you just did there. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. Nine divisions. Are you serious? For this one guy. No wonder I can lose Prague every other day. They're doing stuff like this. Oh. Jesus, I have been doing mostly encirclements and microing. I'm getting so exhausted. I have no idea what this is doing. Send 12 divisions down there. I want someone to count every division I've killed in this game by encirclements. Actually, please don't do that. You have, you can do something more productive with your time. And then the horses, the infiltrators. I can smell something. The Atlantic Ocean. And with it, potentially... Yes! France is gone, which means Andalusia is back. Which means we can kill Swabia. Which means... <sighs> Frontline! I... 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 I'm gonna be able to sleep so soundly today. Oh my god, and that also just freed up a lot. So we can start an offensive against Sweden. You know, for as dull as this 
game is from a, you know, like I can't really build anything. I still kind of enjoy the gameplay I have right now. You know, it's, it's, it's unique, you know? Granted, if Hearts of Iron was this all the time, I wouldn't play it as much as I do. But still, this is kind of... It's nice to have this very micro-intensive gameplay. Okay, you're still not pushing because you do not have supply. Supply is right here. Perfect. You're not gonna get any supply because we don't have the railways, but... Ah, that was a quick and easy fix. Yeah, okay, one problem right now is I don't have troops to garrison the French border, but I do have Italians. Uh, stop these small pockets here, like the Swabian pocket. Then we can potentially... Oh god, that's very bad. And then I also need another stack here. <gasps> He's a brilliant strategist. I have no idea what you're doing. The Caucasus army is just not doing anything. And I can't be asked anymore to micro this much in this war. Okay, look at that. Very easy, you just need to give them a few manual orders and suddenly they have a brain. Kill these off, these off, these off, these off. Wait, you're, s you're not in this war. I f the entire time I thought they were part of this war. If they were, this would have made some of these battles so much easier. Like they would have taken, they would have attacked the Byzantines. Oh, you. Italians are doing something. Give control of this, 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 this. It's disgusting that the Byzantines are still only at 50% capitulation. This is the impassable terrain. Oh my god. I was so scared you capitulated or something like that. Oh, look at that. The Byzantines almost 83%. Hold it a little longer. And then we can cap Iraq, which will free Yemen. Yemen is doing decently. And I think the Byzantines have lost any and all semblance of an army that they had. Now they're all encircled. They don't have any supply hubs or well, cities to get supply from. Stop this intrusion at once. Korea? has just capitulated. Are you serious? It took you so long to capitulate Korea with Japan and China here. And Malaya. Wow. Just love it how you all just left the front line. That's so beautiful. Makes me cry tears of funny. Oh my God, look at this. We're almost reuniting with the Malayans but we also lost a lot of land in the Austrian re 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 liberation for future kids in school this will be one of the most confusing battles that they have to memorize how often Prague was oh Austria is gone how often Prague was occupied and Liberated again and occupied and liberated. And I'm gonna get RSI. I guess this is a pretty accurate representation of World War II. We know we've won. The enemy knows we've won, but the enemy doesn't surrender because, well, Steiner might just turn up any minute. Any minute now. We have pushed through. We found our Asian allies. No, there are too many. Maybe now? Maybe Basra is not protected now? Perfect. I love the AI. <laughs> As if I wouldn't do that. I have done that many times. And then I have raged and reloaded. As you should. Every single stutter I'm getting hopeful that it's finally over. I've been microing for like two hours. Nonsense. 
The Byzantines, they have calls on some of Africa, so we need to take these as well, or else they're not gonna capitulate. I think Sweden is gonna capitulate before the Byzantines. Did we? Did we win? Ah, the ideology, that's kind of cringe, but I can get the mill axis, which is something, and they will just... Oh, the Cherokee Compact. Iroquois are gone. Oh, the Byzantines are gone, but... Oh god, it, <laughs> it flipped to me because I dealt them the most casualties. Okay, but they could still conquer Blackfoot, which also flipped to me. If only they formed Scandinavia in EU4, then all of this wouldn't have happened. That's the only thing they've done wrong, apart from pissing me off in Big 2 multiple times, because they kept on insisting that Hannover is Swedish property. Turns out it wasn't. While this thing finishes off, I think I will play a little bit of Disco Elysium. Great game on the Steam Deck, by the way. I mean, it's a great game, but the Steam Deck is also nice. It's a very depressing and uh, weird game, but hey, it's so nice. And I love the voice acting in it. Whoops! <laughs> I just booted myself out of Steam. Yeah, I mean, Steam only allows you to be logged into, the, into an account at one time. Which is why it booted me out of here. I am so... <laughs> I could give them Malay of Iberia back because Malaya capitulated. For once, the Italians were actually useful in a war. For that, I shall give them Anatolia. I can't give anyone else names. Okay, so I guess we receive all of the ships in this game. World peace. Question mark. So exhausted. But it was fun. Seriously. I don't think I enjoyed the separate parts, the combined parts. Looking back at conquering Iberia from our tiny little Tomboy Nation from Mallorca. And then going over to Indonesia, forming Nusantara, which will then later on be turned into Malaya, getting the Byzantine Roman Australia, South Africa, fighting Andalusia multiple times, and then also getting our colonies in Brazil and losing them, playing as Prussia, forming Russia, and then battling Sweden 20 times and the Byzantines 20 times, and then slowly... You can tell I'm exhausted. <laughs> And then slowly battling out of Siberia, conquering all of the minor nations in Russia. And then later on, having to go against the Greeks again, completely winning against them, but getting so demolished in the process that the empire collapses with with them losing Africa and also parts of their previously conquered land. And then this campaign, which we just conquered so much, we had to micro so much. <sighs> Again, like, this was fun. <laughs> what the fuck? The entire steel supply is in Kursk. I mean, I guess they did that like five ta four times already. And we don't have the Suez. 
That was the entire point why I wanted it, but I, I guess, yeah, France was bankrupt the entire game. We had to fight Byzantium and then Sweden, and oh my god, this was so cool. Like, we were just boxed in. <laughs> and then we had to make friends with the Italians, giving them Tyrol, and also guaranteeing them French and Byzantine land if they helped us. This is the final map. The Incans haven't done anything since EO4. The Japanese and the Chinese have gotten colonies in America as compensation. The British have gotten a price for not fighting us, I guess. Malay Siberia has gotten a lot larger and is pretty much half of Russia now. Has gotten larger, although they didn't really do much. Andalusia has uh, got colonies and a little bit of France. Italy got rewarded handsomely because they were honestly the MVP. They held the lines magnificently, pushed into Andalusia, allowed our tiny little infiltration to kill off France. Definitely very useful. Malaya also received some more colonies here in uh, North Africa and uh, Norway and Finland and obviously Bermuda. And Sweden was turned into an administrative region for the Czechoslovaks. And we finally have a united Germany. Sort of. <laughs> this was a blast. I will definitely do this next year. And I've learned a lot. So... Uh, with one day, two days left in this year, I have finished this campaign. It's the 30th of December 2022. Have a good one.